Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to do a get ready with me using old school kind of classic YouTube products. These are things that have gotten a lot of hype over the years. Some of these were getting hype like five, six, even seven years ago. And I just thought it would be fun to do because I am on a no buy and I'm just trying to use the makeup that I already have. So maybe you have some of these products and you can pull them out as well. And I thought this would be a whole lot of fun. If you are new, please subscribe. I do a lot of shopping my stash and project panning. Like I said, I'm on a no buy and I just love makeup and I'm trying to use what I already have. So let's get into this. For the eyeshadow palette, I had to pull out the Morphe Jaclyn Hill original palette. Well, technically not the original because she did a collab palette with them many, many years ago um, where she had just picked out previous existing shades. I never bought that one, but this, so much hype, so much controversy, but you know what? I still have it and I want to use it. So I don't know. I think I'm going to do a warm neutral look because that's kind of what the majority of this palette is. So I want to start with some of these shades in the crease and then darken it out and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, does anyone actually still have this palette? Am I the only one? <laughs> Let me know. Um, all right, I'm going to grab my Singe brushes because I am loving these. So let's grab that. And I do have on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is kind of an old school product too. And I love that as eye primer. It's great. So I'm going to start with the two lighter shades in the crease. I mean, this is not going to be some revolutionary look you've never seen before. But I guess that's kind of the point, is just using what we already have. But yeah, I'm loving my no-buy. I feel like it's going very well for me. And um, I did a recent no-buy finale, but if you saw that, you know I extended the no-buy because I'm enjoying it so much. So that's pretty awesome. Can't complain about that. All right, let's go with, I don't know, one of these darker browns. The names are, I think they're on the back of this palette. I don't know, it doesn't really matter what the names are. Personally, I like this palette actually. I still think it's good. Um, I think the matte formula is really easy to work with and the shimmers are very pretty and metallic. My only complaint with this palette is that it's kind of redundant. There's a lot of shades that are very similar to each other. It could have been a smaller palette, and I think that would have been better. But quality-wise, I do like it. All right, I'm going to start with, I don't know, I'm just going to use one of these bronzy shades. There's a few, like bronzy shades in this palette. See, the metallics are very pretty. I didn't even need to do a wet brush. Oh yeah, this is a palette I don't really want to get rid of because I like it and I still think it's performing well. Okay, I'm going to go with this like cranberry shade. That's nice. Okay. I'm liking this. I mean, we're kind of doing like the 2015 Copper Smoky Eye. <laughs> that was ever so popular on YouTube, but I still think it's a pretty look. So I'm enjoying this actually. All right, I think I'm gonna blend this out just a bit more and then I'll be back. All right, let's get into the face makeup, the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Primer. I still like this because I really like these traditional pore filling primers because I feel like they fill in lines and they keep my foundation on longer. It really helps particularly on my forehead area and the smile line area, so. To me, this is still one of the best primers I've ever tried, which I feel like a lot of people probably don't feel that way about these traditional pore filling primers. But for me, it's what has worked 
the best over the years. Um, and actually, something you guys could help me out with, because I have not been watching a lot of new makeup videos this year because of my no-buy, please let me know what are the hyped products of this year, because I honestly don't even know. I can't even really think of anything. So this year's hyped products, please, please let me know. All right. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm actually very late to this foundation because I just bought this in January before my no buy started, but I'm actually really liking it. I have very normal skin, not too oily, not too dry. It's right in the middle and I like a good medium coverage that will last all day. And this does actually, this is a really, really nice foundation. I have shade four. And I do feel like it's a good match. So I'm actually really glad that I bought this before my no buy started. Hmm. Yeah, it has a scent. Kind of citrusy. It's mild though. Um, I recently panned my Chanel Le Beige foundation, which I really like. The fragrance on that one was ridiculous. Like it just straight up smelled like a Chanel perfume so very excessive but this foundation i really really like and i don't mind a bit of a fragrance that's fine as long as it's not you know ridiculous like the chanel one as far as hyped concealers i don't really have any um i have the tarte shape tape the creamy version and I don't know, I'm just gonna use this one from ColourPop, but when I think of hyped up concealers, I think of for sure Tarte Shape Tape and MAC back in the day, as far as old school ones. And I've had both of those and I do like them. The MAC one I thought was great. I just really hated that glass packaging with the pump on it. It's just not the most, you know, convenient for me. Um, but I did like the concealer itself. As far as hyped powders, I definitely think of the Laura Mercier, um, which I don't have, and also the RCMA No Color Powder. Oh my, people were obsessed with that powder. I'm just using my Project Pan powder, which is a Franken powder. But yeah, those are the ones that I think of. I always wanted to try the RCMA, but I was worried that it would have a white cast because it's one of those clear powders. One I remember, oh, the Makeup Forever HD powder. This was many, many years ago. People were really into that one, and that was one of those white, supposedly translucent powders. But I tried that, and I just felt like it left a horrible white cast on my face. I really, really did not like that one. So that one kind of scared me away from those kind of white, supposedly translucent powders. Okay, now I'm really excited for this part because for bronzer and contour, the Anastasia Contour Kit. Does anybody still have one of these? I apparently do. I don't use it very often, um, but I think I still like it. I don't know. So I thought I would contour with this, maybe do a bit of brightening with that powder, and then bronzer, I'm so excited, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil gotta do it so i think i'm just gonna mix all three of these contouring shades together we'll just see what happens all right we are contouring i don't do like a traditional contour like this a lot but we'll see how i feel we'll see how i feel um Let's just go down here too, since we're gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> All right. I won't do my forehead with this. I'll just do the bronzer up there. I mean, I feel like it looks okay. See what's left just kind of. Contouring the nose, maybe. <laughs> All right. I like it. Um, chocolate Soleil, gotta do it. It does still smell like chocolate. Love it. 
Um, I actually like this bronzer. I do. This is my second one. I completely panned one of these many, many years ago when it was in the older packaging. I feel like it's nice. And again, this is a smell that this one is not like offensive to me. <laughs> um, I can handle a little bit of fragrance in my makeup as long as it's not like lingering there forever. I feel like this looks good. Hmm. Okay. Kind of loving this look, guys. Let me know what you think. I feel like blush, there are a lot of options. Um, particularly, I think, of MAC blushes for, like, way back in the day. But these hourglass ones, especially in these, like, palettes that would come out at holiday time, I think these still come out. Um, I've had this one for a while. I think I bought this one in 2019, 2020. I, I don't remember, actually. Um, this is the Sculpture Palette. So I want to use this shade here, which they do sell individually and I know is a super hyped one. Oh, Mood Exposure, yeah. So let's go with that. I actually do really like this blush. I think it's nice. All right. And then highlighter. There were really only two options that I think, well, no, maybe three options for really hyped highlighters. Champagne Pop, which is what I'm going to use. Um, Mary Luminizer, which I do still have. And then way back before those were the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finishes. And I actually do still have one of those. I do like it. But for this video, I decided we're going to Champagne Pop. So let me get that which I do still like champagne pop. And this I have in this like limited edition packaging. I bought this at a CCO a couple of years ago. Um, look how beautiful this is. I've actually panned a few smaller sizes of this over the years. Let's see, it's pretty, that's nice. And I like that it's really finely milled. I like this Becca formula. Luckily, they still sell these at Smashbox when Becca shut down. All right. So I am going to do lips, brows, all of that, and I'll be back. All right, here's the final look. And I forgot there was one more step I wanted to do, and that was to use this banana powder to brighten up a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of do this. Let's use this kind of on my under eyes a bit. And then maybe here. Not a lot, but okay. Maybe there's a difference, maybe not. I don't know. But I gotta say, I like this final look. Um, you know, it's not groundbreaking in any way, but the products worked. They look good. I'm loving the highlighter, actually. Very nice. I look very, very pretty. And yeah, this foundation is great. Absolutely love it. Lip products. Um, I decided to go with Pillow Talk. Very, very hyped for many years. Um, this, I'm actually fairly new to this. I got this for Christmas from my husband. This is the Pillow Talk lip liner that I'm wearing. And then I'm also wearing the Pillow Talk lipstick. And then gloss. Really kicked it old school with this, NYX Butter Glosses. I still think these are amazing. Um, this is the shade in Creme Brulee. Great glosses. Shiny, smooth, not sticky. Very, very nice. So I'm really happy with this look overall. Please let me know what you guys think. And yeah, do you still have any of these products? Am I the only one that still has these? please, please let us know. And yeah, if you are new, please subscribe. Like I said, I upload four videos a week. I'm on a no buy, project panning, shopping my stash, all of that. And yeah, if you like this video, maybe I can do something similar with some other old school hyped up products. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.